Hello guys, this is once again Vibhav Shukla. Today we will discuss natural frequency of a building using Rayleigh method. There are two methods of calculating natural frequency of a building. That first one is Rayleigh method. Second one is model shape method. So, in this particular session, we will discuss Rayleigh method. How to calculate the frequency of a building? So, we will go to the geometry. Then I will go to the run structure wizard. Then I will go to the frame models. Select bay frame. Here we input the value of length, height, and width as per your requirement. Then click on apply. Then go to the file merge model with step pro model. Click on yes. Without shifting any values, click on OK. Switch off the grids. Now the next step is to apply the supports. Go to the general support. Select the fixed type of support. Click on add. Go to the fund view to apply the fixed support. Check in the isometric view that all the bottom nodes are selected. Now the next step is to assign the property that is a cross section defined rectangular cross section click on rectangle that value will be assigned to all the members beam and column so click on assign to view the properties has been applied Next step is to apply the now the next step is to apply the support sorry load general load and definition go to the load case detail click on add load type will be as seismic Click on seismic, click on add, then apply the self very next direction with a positive sector value. Then go to the member load, apply a UDL that is the uniform force 13 kilo newton in the GX direction. Then go to the floor load. Apply a value of 2.5 kN in the GX direction. And you have to see the building range. Thirty-nine, forty-two, forty-five. I think. So forty-five is the height of the building. So zero to forty-five gx. Um, the last. Go to the frequency. That is the Rayleigh frequency. Calculate frequency using Rayleigh method. Just simply click in and then close. Now the load case detail two. Seismic in Z direction. Seismic Z you can simply or we can edit as seismic X. Now I load the seismic self fit in Z with a positive one value. Uniform force of 13 in GZ direction then a floor load of 
0.5 gz now ultimately the frequency assigned to you this uniform force only to beam so go to the select beam parallel to x and beam parallel to z assign selected beam only this is the flow load this is the relic frequency self weight assigned to you this uniform force will be applied to the Now simply go to the add and sprint click on add This is the seismic design and we are calculating the frequency of a building natural frequency of a building You can see relic frequency for loading 1 is 0 0.17961 CPS Maximum deflection is at 976.065 cm and the global joint is 236 and relic frequency for the loading 2 that is the seismic x direction that is global x at joint 2 num 236 and the relic frequency for the second loading is the seismic z direction comes out to be 0 0.7196 cps maximum deflection and it is a global z direction and the joint number 78 so this is the way we calculate natural frequency of a building using relic frequency so it is very important tool you should know how to calculate the natural frequency of a building so we have added two load case it is the seismic x and seismic z direction and you have seen the relic frequency for the loading 1 and 2 respectively so thank you very much for what, watching this tutorial i hope you have learned a lot if you have querying regarding this tutorial natural frequency of a building post your comment as queries and i will likely to answer your queries as soon as possible and share with your friends who are in need of learning this particular tutorial thank you very much once again